Hey guys, welcome to this exhalation. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Quick question, how much time do you spend cleaning your data in Power BI? Well, my guess is that you might be spending more than it's needed and it's okay because we all have been there, my friends. But today I have good news. With Power Query, we can reduce our time spending cleaning data by a lot. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you one of the nicest tricks that I know so far in Power Query, which is extract numbers from text. So, are you ready? Let's do this. So here is our agenda, and we have three different points. The first one, we're gonna learn more about Power Query. This is just a high level definition that we have there. Second point, we're gonna learn about the text functions in Power Query. We're gonna be using three different functions here. And finally, guys, as always, we have a practical case. We'll put everything into practice, okay? So now let's move on to the next slide. Some of you might be familiar with this, but if you're not, three different points here. The first one, Power Query is a data preparation tool that helps integrate, transform, and shape data for analysis. Here you might have heard that data analysts Power BI developers, business intelligence developers spend a lot of time cleaning data. And with this tool, we can accelerate this process, okay? Second point, Power Query is case sensitive. So be careful here because we might be using a function lowercase or uppercase and we might be getting different results. Or perhaps we might be getting an error because we are not using the right way. Last point here, a query contains expressions, variables and values. And you guys can see here, so you can open a query here with let, and then we have variables and expressions. And finally, the output, you have to use n here, okay? So this is just a high level definition. We're not gonna go into the details here, but I just wanted to give you guys so you can have this as a reference. So now let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so text functions in Power Query. Like I said at the beginning, we're gonna be using three different functions here. So how do we read these functions, right? The first one, text select. So we are saying here, please select all characters in the range of zero to nine. For the second function here, we are saying, please select all characters in the range of A to Z, lowercase and uppercase, and also any space or period that we have in the column one, in the text that belongs to column one. So the last function that we have here is text remove. It's very similar to the second one. So we are saying here, please remove all characters in the range of zero to nine from the text in column one. Please don't be overwhelmed with this information because we wanna look into this in our case, okay? So now guys, let's move on to the next slide. Practical case, two questions here. The first question is split out text and numbers from cells order. Second question, remove typos. And for this particular case, the typos are numbers from the column called city. So please keep this in mind. And now we are ready to jump into Power BI Desktop. Here we are in Power BI Desktop and we have a table called sales order. It's right here. So if we can take a look at the data here, sales order. That's what we have. We have date, sales order, product, retail price, address, and also city, okay? So what else do we have? We also have another table here called DAX measures, and this is basically the table to store our measures. And we have one measure here, so it's right there. The question that we have here before we start solving the case is, what is the issue with these visuals? So real quick, if you are curious, you might have noticed that CD, for example, for CD, we have typos, right? So check this out. Taxon is repeated a couple of times, but what is the main reason for this repetition? We have a number within the text, right? And also Phoenix, we have number here, and then Boston, same story. So what we're saying here is that for the CD column, we have typos and we need to remove them, right? You can see this right here as well as part of the slicer, right? Boston has six, Seattle has four, etc. So something is not working properly there. So what else? So if we take a look at this table here, this is not actually an issue 
but the sales order contains numbers and text. We might want to rearrange this better. And here we want to have a column just for numbers and a column for text. Let's do this, guys. In order to solve this, like I said, we're going to use this powerful tool called Power Query. So we are here at home, home ribbon, and then let's hit transform data. So this new window pops up and this is the Power Query window. So here magic happens, my friends. So the first thing that we want to do here is duplicate this table. So we want to duplicate this table. Okay, it's right here. And we want to rename this. So just sales order two. And now we're going to start playing with this tool. So let's go to add column and then we're going to hit custom column. And then we're going to call this sales number. Okay. And we're going to use this function here. If you remember the function that we saw in the slides, right? So we're going to use text. Remember, this is capitalized. The first letter is capitalized and then select. S is also capitalized. Really important here, okay? And then we're going to select the sales order column. Remember that? Because that's something that we need to split out. All right? So here we're going to open a curly bracket. It's right there. So what is the idea here? We need to select the numbers from the sales order column. Let's do that. So from zero to nine. So let's see what happens. Close parenthesis. So you can see that the formula is working properly because we have a check here. Green check. No syntax errors. Awesome. And then let's hit OK and let's see what happens. Check this out. See right here. So from sales order, we are grabbing just numbers. And that's what we have here. Awesome, right? So for text, it's very similar. And let's do that. Custom column. So we're going to call this sales call. Okay. And here we're going to put the function, right? So text, remember that text select. All right. Let's reference in sales order comma and here let's open a curly bracket from a to z remember that comma and this is just for lowercase now we need to make sure that we're including uppercase as well from a to z right there you go so here if we have space we're going to capture that as well space right there comma if we have period we can also capture that so let's close the curly bracket close parenthesis no syntax errors have been detected we are good to go let's hit okay boom there it is as you can see so we have just the text from the sales order column so bingo it's working properly my friends so the next step is to clean up the typos from the city column so we're going to do something very similar here, custom column. And then we're going to call this city2 if we want. And here we're going to use the last function that we saw, okay? Text remove. Remember that? So here we need to be careful about what is capitalized and what is not capitalized, okay? All right, so we're going to be referencing city here. And our goal is to remove all numbers right remember that from zero to nine my friends close curly bracket here close parenthesis so we are good to go and let's hit okay so as you can see the city column doesn't have numbers anymore so we are good to go okay so once we are done with this we are good to go let's go to home here and then Close and apply and let's see what happens. So it's loading. Okay, perfect. So here we have another table called sales order, right? So let's duplicate this real quick. So let's call this power query tricks. This slide is referencing the first table. So we want to make sure that we're referencing the right one. Okay. 
So here we're gonna unselect city because it's referencing the first table. And then we're gonna reference the city from the second table. There you go. No more typos, we are good to go. Same story here for this visual. We go to the first table, remove city, and then here select city. No more typos, everything looks fine. And here we're gonna do something very similar, which is remove sales order and then select sales number and also sales code from the second table. There you go. This looks better for city. Same story here. We're gonna select city two from the second table. So now this looks clean. What do you guys think? Awesome tool, right? So before we leave, I have a bonus for you because I know you love bonuses. So let's go back to Power Query real quick, transform data. So what we're gonna do here is duplicate this table again. Check this out. So we're gonna call this sales order three. How about that, okay? Here guys, we're gonna use another feature called columns from examples. Check this out. So let's go to that column here. And there is an option here called column from examples. Let's hit this option and check this out. So here we're gonna select just text. Check this out. A, B, C. The next one, D, E, F, G. There you go. As you might have realized here, the engine Power Query is doing the job for you. We just gave a couple of examples, the first, the first two rows, A, B, C, and also D, E, F, G, and then the other ones were replicated. So, and then automatically here, as you can see, this function has been applied. So we are good to go, all right? And then we can rename this column. So we can call this sales code if we want. And here we can also do the same for number. Check this out. Column for an example, so we're gonna rename this, we're gonna call this sales number, and then check this out. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's see what happens. See, automatically the engine is doing the job for you. As you can see, this is the formula that it's using, which is the same one that we used in the previous example, right? So we are good to go here. Hit OK. Boom. And then for CD, we can do the same thing. As you can see now, the engine is also doing the job for you. And here you can see the formula that has been used, which is the same one that we used previously, right? Text remove. So we are good to go. Hit OK. Boom. You are done here. So, and then we are good to go. Close and apply. And here is the table, sales order three. You can use also this table to clean the data, right? So now you may have a question. Why is this guy teaching me the hard way at the beginning? by using functions and then the easiest way at the end. So what is the point here? Well, the second option, the bonus that I share with you, that might be the easiest way, but it might not work for everything. It worked for this because the data is not too large, it's just a sample, but it's highly recommended to use the functions because that will give you a more accurate answer. So there you have it. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys, and see you in my next tutorial.